Okay, so now we're going to look at how to build the learning objectives main screen. So there's going to be a main slide to a lot of these and then there's also going to be slide layers that we'll have to build and I'll show you those in separate videos just so it's not too overwhelming. So the main screen, if we go to the storyboard, so we go to learning objectives right here. Let's just look at this for a second. So this is the text that is going to be on the main screen here, but it's going to look like this. So we're going to place our avatar on the right hand side with the arms at 90 degree angle with the same juggling balls from the previous step. And then we're going to create blue circles and number them one to five. And these will be the different items that will come in. And these would be our course objectives. So for the main programming considerations, we are going to have um, each list item fly in from the left using an entrance animation. In the timeline, we're going to set these to cascade in at slightly different times. And then we're going to insert a slide layer to show the juggling ball animation here on the side. So there's going to be two main videos that you can watch and I'm creating the first one now, how to build the learning objectives main screen. And then there'll be how to build the learning objectives slide layers. So you can watch those two videos to learn how to do this step by step. So first, let's just focus on getting the text on there. Now each one of these is going to be input as a separate text box because we want them to fly in from the left hand side. So let's go ahead and do that now. I would suggest probably the easiest way is let's just put the title in. Let's copy this and then we'll copy these separately just so we copy them into different text boxes. So our title for this is learning objectives. Now I have used um, a color and bolded this. So I've used blue. So you can use whatever you'd like. I'm going to use the same color that I was using for that example that I've already built. So there we go. So there's the title. I'm just going to make this kind of smaller like this because the first text that I want to go in there is just this top part here. So I'm just going to copy this. And just so that I don't have any issues with fonts and things, when I copy that in there, I'm going to go here and choose this, which just this just allows you to just keep the text only. So there we go. Okay. And then I'm going to copy each one of the text boxes here. So each, uh, each of the, the items here, I'm going to copy separately. Okay, so there's the first one and I'm just going to arbitrarily place it there. Just going to get, I'm just going to get rid of that bullet because we don't need that. And sometimes there are like ways you can do some of this in bulk, but I tend to, if I'm showing someone, just do it slowly because I find sometimes when you import things in bulk, it, it sometimes doesn't format properly overall. And then you end up kind of having to redo it anyways. So sometimes doing it slower is better. Okay. So there are our different items for the learning objectives. So our first objective is position yourself optimally for juggling. And then the second one will be throw to throw one ball in an arc from one hand to the other. And the third one here is 
is to throw two balls so they cross in midair from one hand to the other. The fourth one, throw three balls in a sequence from one hand to the other. And the last one, to juggle all three balls continuously. So that's what we're going to have come in from the left. So let's just, I'm going to just line these up a little better, but I want to create the circles and then we can finalize this. So it's just going to be similar to what we did before with the juggling balls. I'm just going to insert an oval shape. Okay, so now let's make that a blue color. So I'm going to choose what I did before. So my fill color was this. And my outline was this one and then I had a shadow effect on it as well this one right here so I'm also going to put the numbers inside there as well so one two three four five so I'll just insert a one right there and I'm going to make that white and bold. Okay. So I'm going to make that also size 14. And I'm going to put a shadow. Okay. So now I'm going to copy this five times. Okay, and I'll label each one of those. Okay, so now the fun part begins. So I'm going to start by lining these up. So just bear with me. It's going to take a little bit just to get them the way I want. We do have these guidelines that does help. Um, and it may not be perfect for this demo, but you can fiddle with it more if you want it. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so now I'm just going to line these up a bit better. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. So we have that on there. Now we just have to think about where we're going to place the avatar because if you go back to the storyboard, we need enough space for her. So we may have to make some of those rows, as you can see, I had to double it up there just so we have space for her over there. Now you don't have to put her there, but I just wanted to show you how to throw in that. So I'm going to maybe just double this up. And that means I might need to re-space a little. Alright, so that's pretty good right now. I mean, needs a little bit more tweaking, but I just want to show you how you can create this effect that I'm going to do now. Okay, so the last time I did something like this was the other side and we use cue points, but I'm going to show you how to do this if you don't use cue points, just to show you a different way of doing it. So in the timeline, I'm just going to expand this here so we can see it better. These are the text boxes right here and these are the oval shapes. 
So for example, the first one is position yourself optimally, and that goes with number one. So what I might do just so this is a little easier to look at is move those together. And the same with the second one, the third, fourth, and then the fifth. So then we can start, instead of using cue points, what we can do is we can drag the first one here. So this is position yourself optimally for juggling. That's the first text box. We can have that come in with oval one, maybe not at the very beginning, but like just a little far back like this. And then the second one, we can have it come in a little bit further than that one. So a little delayed. And then the third one. So you get this cascading effect. And then the last one, like this. Okay, so let's actually go and preview this and just see what that's going to look like. So now you can always draw this up and down, so I'm just gonna move that down. And we go up here to preview. Okay, so I'm previewing the whole thing right now, but I could also just preview that slide, but we can just go next. Okay, so, so now they came in, but guess what? We haven't added any animation effect to this. So you can see it kind of cascaded in, but we need to add our entrance animation as described in the storyboard. So we have to have them fly in from the left using an entrance animation. So now all we do is we add those animations on here. So we go up to animation, entrance, and then we go to fly in and have it fly in from the left. We do the same thing for every single one. Okay, so I think that's all of them. Let me just double check to make sure I did that all right. Spot check here. Okay, all right, but if you aren't sure, just go and preview now. And there we go. So you can replay that. And you can then see that it does work. There we go. So now we're going to go and insert our character again. So we go to, I'm using Carmen, but this time I'm going to have her facing, no, I'm going to have her facing front, I think for sure. Yeah. And we can have her happy. We could have her talking. So whatever you want to do there. And then her pose again, hands out like this. And then I'm going to put her over here. Okay, and she's also going to have an animation, but some of these other animations like fade in and, and these slide triggers over here for next slide, previous slide, we're gonna do at the end. So we'll worry about those later. So that's pretty much it for the main screen. So the main screen is always this here, this layer. So you'll see it like it'll say base layer here. We're going to add a slide layer to show the juggling animation, okay? So if you look back at the storyboard, she will be juggling these balls right here. So you're gonna to have to insert a slide layer to input the juggling animation. So I'm gonna show you that in the next video called How to Build Learning Objectives Slide Layers.